it's like a it's like a mullet. It's like very deceptive upon first glance, but then when you really get down into it, it's a party. Hey y'all, it's Vaughn. I'm coming at you live from the NYT Cooking Kitchen Studio. Today, I'm going to be making the best holiday dessert you've never heard of. It's called Cherry Yum Yum, and it is truly my family's most prized creation, other than myself. It's one of those desserts that's like deceptively simple, where it's like, how can something this easy be this good? Large format, great to feed a party. My family eats it every single year for Christmas. This year I might make my own personal one so I could just go in with a spoon. I'm so happy that this year I get to share this recipe with all of you so that you can then go forth and make it and make it a tradition in your family too. Save that for the ending though, come on. Good morning. This morning I woke up in an extremely festive mood. There's strong vibes outside, chilly, rainy, we need comfort food now more than ever. Our data and engineering team, they were gonna be at the studio today. I'm gonna make a cherry yum yum and I'm gonna kinda surprise them with it because they are some unsung heroes of NYT cooking. Always want to be able to show my appreciation to them. So I was on my featured photos of today. Nanny. <laughs> gonna be a good sign that we're gonna spread some love today and spread some holiday cheer. I actually have an exact replica, <laughs> uh, kind of, of Nanny's handwritten recipe. It holds up. It's stood the test of time. Let's break down the elements of cherry yum yum. Cherry yum yum is like a no-bake cheesecake slash trifle. So you got your graham cracker layer, which is like a graham cracker crust. Then you got your kind of like no-bake cheesecake layer, which is cream cheese, heavy cream whipped together with sugar. And then you got cherry pie filling. Cute Ina. Store-bought is just fine. My friends are gonna be here shortly, so I, I gotta get going. All by myself. I think that I sing Celine Dion in pretty much every single video I do. <laughs> but it doesn't always, actually, it never makes the <laughs> end cut. You do not need a food processor. I just have this out because I have one here and I'm gonna use it. It uses one full box of graham crackers, your standard box. You could do this with a rolling pin, a bottle of wine or something like that. Oh, hello. You don't want to start with all of your graham crackers in there at once because it'll be too much for the food processor, but once they get ground down into the crumbs, you can add the rest of your graham crackers in there. Every single time. Now that that's been kind of ground down, the food processor can handle the rest of these. Wunderbar. To melt my butter, I'm gonna just do it in the microwave. I actually learned this trick from my colleague Genevieve Ko. Sometimes when you melt butter in the microwave, you gotta be really careful because it can just like explode everywhere and then the inside of your microwave is gonna become a greasy mess. But Genevieve says to use your butter wrapper like this and just stick it over the bowl and you hopefully won't have any problems. because you've got so much richness from the cream and the sweetness from the canned cherries. It needs the salt to balance everything out. It literally is the consistency of wet sand. You should be able to like clump it together like that and make a shape with it and it should hold pretty well. Dry bits down in the, the edge here because it's like such a sharp angle. Went with a spatula around and made sure that I incorporated the rest of the butter. That's basically like half of the work in this recipe. Now I'm going to mix together the cream. Yum yum, y'all. Cream cheese. You probably could do this by hand. You definitely can do it in a stand mixer, but I have a hand mixer here. I think that's probably the easiest and, and quickest way to go about it. And then this gets a full teaspoon of salt. Start on low here, and then you do want to start to incorporate some air into it. It 
heavy cream needs to be cold in order for it to whip up. And this is what's called a stabilized whipped cream. Stabilized is kind of like a, just a fancy term, but it, this cream cheese obviously gives it an extra element of flavor and just kind of gives it structure. Because this is something that sits in the refrigerator for a while to set up, you want it to have that structure. My family is very big into almond in our desserts. We've never had this with almond extract in it, but when I was testing out the recipe, the almond extract really brings out the flavor of the cherries. It's very subtle. I call for it to be optional, but definitely recommend it. It's just going to really bring out that like richness of the cream. You wanna start low with your mixer because you want the cream cheese and the heavy cream to kind of blend together before you start to actually whip it up. And you just kind of have to trust the process. At first, it's going to seem like it's not doing anything, but if your cream is cold, it will whip up, and you want it to go to about stiff peaks. <laughs> it's so good. And that's it, love. We're done. I am now just going to assemble. I'm gonna make this in a standard kind of like Pyrex 9x13. Glass is also really nice because you can see the layers when you're building it. So the general construction of Cherry Yum Yum is half the graham crackers on the bottom, half the cream on top of that, both cans of cherry pie filling on top of that, then you go with your cream, and then your last layer of graham crackers on top. Wow. I feel like Rachel from Friends. The page was stuck together. And you do want to press it pretty firmly. I would do little dollops on top when you get to the cherries, just because it'll be easier to smooth it out. The beauty of this is that it gets covered in graham cracker crumbs anyway, so it's like, you don't have to be too precious about it. For a perfectionist like me, this is like the very stressful part of this recipe, but hopefully for you, this is like the therapeutic part. <laughs> the ethos of a yum yum is that it's not perfect. Cherry yum yum can teach you a lot about life. You know, letting go, simplicity is sometimes the best. It's all going to taste the exact same. Spoiler alert. <laughs> All right, uh. bakers, spatulas down. She is gorge. A lot of refrigerated desserts, in my opinion, get better as they sit. This is definitely one of those things. The flavors just have a chance to like develop a little bit more. It just all becomes a little bit more cohesive as it chills. And the butter that's coated in the graham crackers will kind of just like re-solidify in the refrigerator, giving it more texture. It's the perfect dessert, it really is. I'm gonna cover this and I'm excited to eat it. It is truly so comical. There is a literal club downstairs and it's like, 3.30 p.m. and they're bumping. They're bumping. Good for them. Santa Con. Gotta love it. Love to see it. Oh, she's hefty. Oh, it looks amazing. It looks the exact same. Cherry Yum Yum. It's actually one of the recipes that I remember most about making with Nanny in the kitchen. Nanny taught me how to love and show love through food and cooking in the kitchen. She would be astounded that Cherry Yum Yum is a New York Times recipe. To go from like this to this to this is just kind of, wow, oh, this is, See, it's such a simple dessert, but it brings up so much. Mm. The pop of the cherries, the silky, like luxurious cream, and then that really nice textural graham cracker note. Cherries, kind of the star of the show, but like 
they're not really taking center stage. Everything, everybody in the company is working super well here. It's a super well-balanced dessert and it looks so pretty. It's the most highly requested dish at the holidays. Like my cousins, my sisters, we're all like, who's bringing the yum yum? I hope that you all make it. I'm excited to share it with my colleagues. It's fun. It's like a, it's a party time dessert. What'd you think? It was amazing. What do you think? Phenomenal. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it doesn't have to be cherry yum yum, but whatever you make during the holidays, you know, do it with love and it'll come out a bajillion times better. That's something that Nanny taught me and has never and will never leave me. So thank you and happy holidays. <gasps> oh, marry yum yum. I'm gonna marry it.